Hey, Nicholas with the Backyard Tardis here with a actual reaction, trying out some new software that I got on my phone. Going to try to make this work by doing a reaction to the uh, Nintendo Direct for the Super Mario Brothers movie. I'm very excited about this. i uh, got a lot of things that I'm kind of thinking on my mind right now. Um, I I'm, I'm have an interest of how they're going to do this movie. Um, mainly the big thing here is Chris Pratt. Uh, how is his voice? I think if he tries to do like the Mario game voice, it's me, Mario, the whole thing, uh, it's going to sound really bad and it's going to be really annoying very fast. I don't see him doing that. Uh, I also don't think Chris Pratt's voice just by itself will work. Um, so, you know, I know there's a lot of people dislike Chris Pratt right now. Um, I think he's an okay guy that, you know, he doesn't even say things to get people riled up they just know he's a little bit conservative or or religious or something and uh they're trying to cancel him over the opinions he keeps to himself that's that's ludicrous um i i don't think he's a uh, tier one actor uh not at all um he's a good action star kind of like the rock i think he's better than the rock but he's not an amazing actor but uh, he's an enjoyable actor, and I, I enjoy a lot of the movies he's in. Um, but that being said, I don't really think he's a great voice actor, and he's been getting a lot of voice acting roles. He's about to be Garfield, he did the Lego movie, you know, d just these different things. Um, so it's kind of like, uh, he's, he's not that emotive with his voice. So I, I, I thought he was a very, like of the people that could get, he was a very weird pick for Mario. It's funny, Sega wanted him for Sonic and they didn't get him. And they wanted him to play Tom the Cop also. I think he could have done okay at Tom the Cop, but I, I like, you know, who we got. But, you know, it just kind of goes in together. So his voice that uh, Keegan Michael Hiko I know is going to nail uh, Toad because he does a voice like that in, um, uh, whose line is it anyways that I, I feel is like the Toad style voice um, Jack Black as Bowser like he is going to nail that like he can make his voice raspy he can do things but uh, just he's perfect for that role I wonder if we're going to see Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong that's another one that I'm kind of like on the fence of like well could it work could it not work um I'm trying to think of what the lady's name that's playing uh, Princess Peach. That's one that I think will work. It will be different, but it'll work. But, you know, if we if we think about it, um, Chris Pratt could do a Brooklyn accent. Because if you, th if, if you think about, um, like, the original Mario movie, as bad as that was, how long it took Nintendo to make something like that, that kind of really put people out. And then you had... Um, you know, but the cartoons, the cartoons didn't sound like the video games. Because at that point, the cartoons came out, there wasn't, uh, Mario didn't speak in the video games. It wasn't until the N64. He's like, it's -a me, a Mario. Before that was the cartoons. And it was more kind of just like giving them like that, that Brooklyn, New Yorker accent. Um, you know, like they were from Little Italy type, you know, just the working class guys from there. And uh, I think Chris Pratt might be able to pull that off without sounding annoying and sounding like super bit like, but I don't know. I, you know, I think there's a lot of voice actors who could pull that off. I don't know if Chris Pratt can pull that off, but uh, that's in the realm of possibility. So there's just so much stuff to be excited. I want to see about this. Um, apparently this is. Uh, I thought it was 45 minutes, but apparently it's just 10 minutes and it's 45 minutes of waiting. Most directs are like an hour long, but the actual direct is only 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, this one's kind of like, no, the direct is 10 minutes and the whole like video that they had you waiting there was like an additional 40 minutes or whatever. Uh, so let's get this queued up and then go in and you give me some critiques about like, is my software working out? If not, what do you think is better? Okay, here we go. Coming in. Let's see what we got here. Hello, everyone. Miyamoto. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. 
As we previously mentioned, in today's Nintendo Direct, we'll reveal the first trailer for the Super Mario Brothers animated movie for the very first time. Yes, so this exciting. Nintendo Direct so is also being broadcast simultaneously at New York Comic Con. Hello, Small New York Comic Con. To getting this video to work. It's been nearly 40 years since the original Mario Brothers game was released in Japan. Today, lots of people around the world are playing Mario games. Thank you all so much. Finally, the world of Super Mario Brothers will become an animated movie. We've been working on this movie together with Chris Melodandri from Illumination for a long time, from brainstorming and all the way through production. The time flew by as we were having fun figuring out how to depict the Super Mario characters and world. Now, I'd like to hear from Chris-san, my good friend and great partner for the movie. Let's bring him in. Chris-san. Chris Pratt. Thank you, Miyamoto-san. That's not Chris Pratt. I am speaking on behalf of our directors, Michael Jelinek, Aaron Horvath, and the entire Illumination crew of artists. When I tell you that producing the Super Mario Brothers movie with you and your team at Nintendo has been an absolute privilege. Our crew is filled with Mario fanatics, and they're bringing the very best of their talent to this film every day. Next week, we complete animation. We're knee deep into lighting and compositing. It's not even complete. Composer Brian Tyler heads to the scoring stage in just 11 days. He's been working hand in hand with Koji Kondo to integrate classic themes from the game into the film score. Miyamoto-san, it's been over seven years since we first started seven talking years. about making this movie wow. together. You know, and it is thrilling to it finally like be ago. here to show the very Could first look at footage with Mario fans at Nintendo Direct and at New York Comic Con. Miyamoto-san, shall we go ahead and introduce some of our cast? Okay, Chris-san. Now, I'll introduce two of the stars from this movie. Jack Black. Both of them love Nintendo, Nintendo games and made this into a really fun movie. Are you ready? Yes, yes. Let's uh, growing up, okay, man, Chris I spent that makes hours sense. of my Mario. life stomping Koopas in uh, the original Mario Brothers arcade game and Chris my Pratt, local that's bad acting. laundromat. Uh, and then, of course, it came out on Nintendo and I played your life that I mean, uh, maybe years of my life. Cards. Uh, it's it's an honor, um, truly, to, to be able to speak to the man who created <laughs> those memories for me. And I'm it's, saying it's that I think Chris Pratt is a bad actor. I just think this is been a lifelong dream of mine to become Mario. It's not authentic. Um, <laughs> that, uh, that, that dream, like all dreams, faces one critical challenge, as in the film. I must face off against an utterly ruthless scene stealer. Every great yes. hero needs a diabolical enemy. It, exactly. I this is what I say about like I the secret quote. Like, like, you you have to have good villains the Koopas, um, to have Bowser, a good story. And my friend, the great and hilarious, yes, Jack Black. supremely talented Mr. Jack Black. Oh Thank my goodness, you, Chris, but I can't let you have all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for us to make this moment all about me. While you've been dreaming about playing Mario, I've been preparing. Look at all this Koopa muscle I packed on. <laughs> and this flowing mane doesn't just appear overnight. Do you have any idea how long it took me to learn how to breathe fire? I had to go learn like a Gene Simmons like of that. Kiss. And all this hard work's been worth it, though. I am so Jack's proud to this have been able authentic. to collaborate with you and Miyamoto-san as well as the entire Ooh, like the Nintendo and Illumination stuff. team on this cinematic experience. One that will make its mark on cinematic. Mario fandom you hear forever. That bro, extra techie? Much love. You want. you want cinematic, right? Peace out. <laughs> Thank you, Chris-san, Jack-san. All right, then. Thank you all for Black waiting. Makes me Let's laugh. press the start button. Okay, here it goes. Ooh, this is this is an upgrade for Illumination. Like Illumination wasn't that bad, but the art. Ooh, that, that is detail. Bringing in fire up at uh, Bowser's screen tip. Where's that? Let's check out what's in the Destruction. Behold! The king oh, yeah. of the Koopas! Um, 
Bowser with the boys. <laughs> Open the gates! Oh, he's not just doing his voice, he's doing a voice and it's really good. It's the penguins from Mario 64! Bowser, throw him off the ledge! <laughs> they have no effect. That's that is that's but funny. A taste that's... of our fury. Do you yield? Or not? Just so seriously, <laughs> I do pathetic not. attack. Yeah, I'd be laughing at him too. Ooh, just this once, everybody dies. Ah, it's Mario maybe, but oh, oh yeah. I finally found there. it. There now goes. who's gonna stop me? Do the Mario theme. Oh, this is really important. We gotta hear his voice. What is this place? It's just Chris Pratt's voice. Do not touch that place or you'll die! Oh, I'm sorry. That one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! <laughs> Mushroom Toad. Kingdom, here we come! Come? That's not what Mario says. There was a little bit of an accent there, but uh, it wasn't. Hmm. Ah! Really like the piano. Oh, Luigi! Eye bones! Okay. Um, April. April. I want to thank wow. all of you for being part of this, this moment soon. with us, and we're excited and so we're to share more even trailers. more I'm... footage in the yeah, coming months. I'll, I'll... Uh, I'm looking forward to it this too. Is, this is what do you great. think will happen during Mario's more, adventure in the Mushroom uh, Kingdom? Trailers. We're gonna get <laughs> production of the movie is going well. Uh, uh, Currently, I'm like with any Nintendo this. game, wow. we're working on the finishing touches. Mm. I hope you're looking forward to the next trailer. It'll be a great experience watching the Super Mario Brothers movie in movie theaters. You'll get to see the Mushroom Kingdom on the big screen. Look closely, and you'll spot things in all sorts of places. Lots of easy this days. film can be enjoyed Don't by like people that. of all ages, so I hope you'll get to a movie theater and cheer for Mario. All ages. That's yeah. all for today. We'll see you next spring in movie theaters. Thank you. Okay. Uh, wow, that that trailer was fire. Um, uh, take a moment. Like last thing Miyamoto said, all ages. I kind of mentioned this. But I'm curious to see, like, Illumination movies uh, entertain my dad. Because, you know, there's there's adult jokes and stuff like that. Now, with Mario, you have people who are my age, that are in their 30s and 40s, that played Mario as a kid. Um, or, you know, just tell that on it. And, of course, and all younger. Kids are just, it's an animated movie. Like, little kids are just going to love it no matter what. Um, but... I'm curious to see if, like, the people who are older than the Mario generation, uh, if Illumination brings it in a way that they enjoy it, too. So that'd be kind of cool, because that's something, you know, like, with comic books and stuff, um, as my my dad was never really into them as a kid, you know, but as they become the movies, like, he's getting to know these characters more. We're getting to share that now. Um... So it'd be kind of interesting to see if that kind of gives a, like a window into the video game and the same, like my wife, my wife is not a gamer. She does like Mario Kart and dance dance revolution and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, you know, recently shows like the big bang theory, like that has helped her to kind of get an understanding of like some of my nerddom with, uh, like doctor who and, uh, Stargate and Star Wars and Star Trek and all that because she wants to know, be in on the jokes. Um, and before that, it was nothing nerdy. So um, I'd be interested to see, like, this gives a window more into the gaming space. And, of course, I'm looking forward to sharing this with my daughter. Um, the music note, I like how it went, like, almost from the game tone to then it kind of went to more uh, orchestral piano and they said that they haven't scored it yet but if that's like a little hint of what they're going to do I am all for that okay let's talk about the big elephant in the room Chris Pratt um, and that wasn't a political joke <laughs> uh, 
Chris Pratt um, as all the cars go by. Uh, Chris Pratt is one of the. Um, he, he's mostly just Chris Pratt. Um, now, right towards the end, he kind of did put a little bit of, like I said, that a teeny tiny bit of that, like that Brooklyn inflection. Wasn't really the game inflection, but um, you know, here we come. Uh, come on, here we go. It's like that was the one time. When he could have put like the go like a little bit like that's where it should have been and maybe they put come there because they didn't want to not you know have it sound off for mario but like that's mario's catchphrase like i don't like that that was wrong but everything else about like like this is going a next level there's like illumination is really good like you know you have pixar and dreamworks and then like illumination is kind of like right below them but this kind of looks like a step above um, above DreamWorks and on par with Pixar. Uh, th this was this was next level. Um, Mario, uh, I didn't want to talk because I was really hearing his voice, but Mario looked like Fix It Felix. And his face, it almost feels like, and I could see this, because uh, Bowser was in uh, Wreck-It Ralph. So I could see that that is something that caught Miyamoto's eye. He had to be in part of the approval process for that. And so I could see him liking that animation style because this didn't look DreamWorks style. This looked like Wreck-It Ralph, actually. I could see them, him going, I want Mario to look like that. Which is funny because Fix-It Felix and the whole Wreck-It Ralph game is based off of Donkey Kong kind of like parodying that. Um... Like their whole relationship with Wreck It Ralph being Donkey Kong and Fix It Felix being Mario, but it's just something about it. It feels a little off from Mario, but it's a hundred percent recognizable. Way better than what we got in the first Sonic trailer. Honestly, this is what I initially wanted out of a Sonic movie. I'm like, I wanted it all CGI. I actually wanted it. Uh, my personal fan guessing was that it would be Sonic Boom with. Um, you know, going through like the Sonic verse parodying on Spider Man Spider Verse and going through all the different cartoon styles. I thought that would have been, you know what, and it'd still be like a direct to streaming movie. That would be cool to do that. Uh, Sega, you should still do that. Um, but I'm actually happy with what we got with Sonic because it's given us a new, unique world of Sonic and it allowed them to pull from so many different aspects of Sonic. It just, it worked. It really worked. As the movies go on, the human characters are going to get more and more tacked on. But I really feel like for like a trilogy, like a little, you know, like it worked. Now these Mario movies, uh, they could continue to make them um, till the cows come. Like it's, um, there could be four, five, six, but at the same time, like the illumination, like I don't know how many they could get away with. But this, this was just this was a great trailer. Um, Chris Pratt was a little, and the uh, Keegan, his voice, he did not do the voice that I thought, but but looking at the voice he did, it still had a little bit of that. And honestly, I think if he had done the voice I was thinking of that I've heard him do, that's almost. Like, he's not saying he's referencing Toad, but it is, like, exactly Toad from the game uh, in a bit that he does. Um, if he'd done that through the whole movie, it'd probably be very annoying. And to the non-Mario fans, they'd absolutely hate it. And even the Mario fans, well, they might appreciate the authenticity, it'd be kind of annoying. Like, we all hate some of our favorite uh, properties. Like, there'll be a character that just has that voice that you're like, I mean, that's what they're supposed to, and you make a joke, and you meme about it, but at the same time, you're, like, a little embarrassed for your property. And, um, you know, in Sonic, it's Biggs the Cat. You know, he he sounds, um, well, let's just say it doesn't accompany his personality. It gives an impression, and uh, especially when you get the voice actor for Duke Nukem to do it. But, um... You know, in Mario, it's got to be the Charles are like, 
Hey, Mario! You know, uh, I can't do it. it. You know, it's 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 just super high pitched. I apologize. Probably messed up your ears there if you had earbuds in. But yeah, the 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 uh, you know little <laughs> more like Yoshi. I cannot do that voice. Uh, but anyways, this looked good. I'm I'm excited about this. Let's go. Can't wait till April. I am totally taking the whole family to this. Uh, this has got me excited. Um, because this is Illumination and it's Nintendo and all that, um, I expect it to surpass the the Sonic movie and the Sonic movie 2, the records they set, and Detective Pikachu. I do. I think this is going to break the... Like, those have been kind of good. Like, we've had a couple of good things that have come up you know uh, so sad i heard today that the shemu anime has been canceled its second season uh, that is so frustrating but that was done really well uh, the castlevania show on netflix done really well um you know and, and nintendo's bought a studio so they're gonna start pumping these out um like you know uh like like marvel style I mean, we're gonna get a bunch of nintendo movies i imagine and um, I think uh, Sega has already revealed their plans, like they're like they're licensing their stuff out, but to multiple studios, lots of different pro properties. Um, I think just like comic books, like video game movies, are about to become mainstay, and just like comic book movies, like there's gonna be some bad ones still. There's still gonna be, but we're gonna start getting some top-notch good ones. It's gonna drive everybody there. They're gonna see the money. And then we'll get some really dumb things that should have never been while smaller studios are just buying up licenses to game rights for movies just because they see the, the big pie. But I am ready for this. I am down for this. And I'm going to properly say I can't wait till April 7th when we can let's go to the theater.